Hi everyone, my name is Abel Greek and Toma from Greatest Design Council. Uh, today I'm very very excited. I want to show you how to make use of your Revit for your design. Okay, we are going to be covering Revit architecture, uh, the MEP, and we are also going to be covering Revit structure. Uh, but we'll be starting with the Revit architecture so that you can become very familiar uh, with some of the basic Revit tools. And once you can achieve that, um, we will go into the Revit structure proper. Uh, as you can see, this is Revit 2024. Uh, Revit is a software that is used for your building information uh, modeling it's a BIM software it's actually a very great software that makes your work uh, way more easier and even faster than the regular AutoCAD now if you are so used to using AutoCAD uh, you are very very wrong okay it is important that you improve It's important that you learn new skills they are very very important or else um, a time will come that you are going to be replaced don't get too comfortable in one place okay so Revit you can imagine combining uh, the Revit and your AutoCAD um, you are actually going to be having a greater a better and a faster result so you'll be having more quality results uh, compared to when you are just holding on to uh, the AutoCAD for your architectural uh, design. All right. Um, so let's jump right into it. As you can see, this is open. This is new. Um, for a new project like this, which we are going to be starting, uh, um, you can see this is the most recent job I just did in the Revit 2024 uh, these are sample structure project this comes with the software itself uh, just for you to see some sample projects you can go through and see how it looks like all right um, all I need to do now is to click on new once I click on new you can see Imperial uh, I will select the metric multi discipline because um, I'm going to be using my metric unit um, you can see create new project or you can create a project uh, template so if I click on OK um, this is actually how the interface uh, looks like but let's allow this to finish loading so the first thing we are going to do is to do some basic um, setting of our environment how we want to it to look like in terms of the units of your measurement and then uh, the screen color you are going to see how we we'll go through that process uh, together okay so let's wait for this to finish loading so as you can see this is how the interface is like um, you see the architecture tab the structure tab for those who will be using this for your structural elements you can see it has uh, all the major structural elements are actually available here for you to make use of and when you are in the architecture tab you can see the wall the doors the windows uh, these are architectural columns roof ceilings and all that okay so if you have the software you can just uh, go through to see what i am talking about um, you can see this is for structure this is for steel which is also part of uh, the structure okay uh, you can see precast you have system you you has insert um, this you can link Revit okay with other software one good thing about Revit is that you can easily integrate it with so many other softwares okay uh, rendering softwares and even structural design softwares it can be integrated with software like uh, Proto Structure can be integrated with Enscape 
uh, V-Ray, Twin Motion, and so many other softwares, which makes it a very good uh, software uh, to actually make good use of. You can see the analysis uh, when you are done with your structural modeling. You can do the analysis of those models uh, here, okay, structurally. Um, collaborate. You can just simply go through this and look at it for yourself. Now, we will be focusing on uh, the major settings in our Revit. Uh, this is that is basically what I'm going to be focusing on in this particular episode. Okay, so you can see for yourself this is Enscape, which is for your rendering. Okay, you can see this is Twin Motion, which is also a rendering software. All right, so um, if I come under my file here and I come to options okay it will bring me to a window where i can do some of the major settings i want you can see here i can save this is going to help you to save uh give you a reminder to save your job after 15 15 minutes you know uh in a case where you find yourself where you have very unstable uh, light uh, is important that um, you do the settings in a way that the system can help you to will always remind you to save your job so that whenever there is power failure already you know that you have been able to save your job uh, at a reasonable level uh, user interface all of these you can turn off any of this so you can see this is structure tab and tools this is for structure this is for mechanical electrical piping massing and site so whichever one you want to turn off if you turn it off you can see the architecture tab so that means what that means is that it's not going to display here any longer so uh it's important you leave all of this checked except in a case where probably you don't have need for any of this you can simply just turn that off you can see the background color here is actually white i can probably change that color to another color that i feel is better the selection uh pre-selection alert calculating rebar editing these are the colors it's going to maintain for me okay as we proceed you are going to see all of these colors um, Now, this is um, this is your graphics. Allow navigation during redraw. I can just skip this part. File location. This is basically where uh, your file is going to be saved. So you can specify the part where you want all your Revit projects to be saved. You can see this one. If you look at this uh, default part for user file, you can see it's going to be under document okay so this is users my system is dell and then this is document is going to be under uh document default part for family template files is going to be under your program data autodex revit 2024 family template so you can change all of this part however you want it then you come to and then here again very important you can see we have the metric units the imperial units um these are templates in a case where your own revit is not coming up with templates that you can actually make use of because there are cases where you will open your revit probably during the installation uh you must have skipped a part and then that template is not coming up for you in that case you can actually add a template uh, but we are not going into that at the moment, so I'm going to skip that part. Uh, check spelling, ignore words in uppercase, ignore words. So you can probably check any of this. Uh, you can see ignore words with number. Okay, so this is basically just going to 
uh, check whenever you having a spell you can see this is the American English which is going to be using for us and we have the British English okay so however uh, while you are put inserting your annotations and all of that uh, is going to do a check for you okay so all that is going to be I'm going to leave all of these at default and I will click on OK. Now, another very important settings that you should always do is your unit. Now, if I type in UN, it will bring up this project unit for me. Now, you can see all of these are in metric units. So I'm going to leave it as it is because the template I actually picked was in metric. Okay, if I had picked the imperial template, it would have given me these measurements in terms of feet, inches, pounds, and all that. Okay, so if that is correct, I will click on OK. So if you love what you are seeing, make sure you like this video and give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel. It's actually 100% free. Click on the bell icon so as for you to get a notification whenever I post videos, post videos like this on the weekly Sometimes on a daily, just to encourage as many that actually want to have a deeper insight of design. I will see you in the next episode.